Good morning, saints. Please stand for prayer. Today is the feast of St. Olympias. St. Olympias, pre please pray for all of us, and especially those celebrating a birthday today. Happy birthday to Maria Slater and Breck Steffensmeyer. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O wisdom, coming from the mouth of the Most High, reaching from end to end, mightily and sweetly ordering all things, come and teach us the way of prudence. Together we pray. Heavenly Father, we praise you and give you thanks for the blessings you have bestowed upon us. Keep us according with truth and active in charity, as exemplified by our patron, St. Thomas Aquinas. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please join me as we honor our flag and country. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a great day, saints. Good afternoon, saints, and happy Halo Days. Today is Thursday, December 17th, 2020 the 19th day of Advent. Hey Saints, Sarah is back at it again with Christmas trivia today, but this time it's with teachers. Let's take a look. Okay, today we are with <laughs> Ava. Mr. Burstein. <laughs> and today we're gonna be asking them some Christmas movie questions. If you guys get three out of the five right, you win. Okay, okay. so we're all about Die Hard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> In the movie, The Polar Express, how many children on the train are referred to by their names? Two? <laughs> I'm gonna go with 4,225. <laughs> okay, so it's actually only one. That's okay though. In the Santa Claus, referring to, to the- <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> referring to the 1994 film, what is the restaurant that Tim Allen's character, Scott Calvin, takes his son to after burning the Christmas turkey? Oh, is it? Denny's? Uh, I'm gonna go with Target. It was Denny's. Wow. <laughs> In National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, what animal destroys their Christmas tree? Is it a squirrel? I'm gonna go with a buffalo. <laughs> it was a squirrel. <laughs> okay. Oops. In How the Grinch Stole Christmas, how many sizes does the, does the Grinch's heart grow once he gets his feelings? Is it three? 4,225. All right, it was three. In Elf, what is the first co rule to being an elf? There's like an obvious one that I don't. No! Um, I think it's uh, thou shalt not Steal. It was treat every day like Christmas. I think Ava got three out of five. I don't know if first, you know? I would say for my Christmas movies except for Die Hard. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Roast. Luke. And today you're going to be competing to see who can get the most questions right, okay? Is this so, sports or history? Uh, no, this is Christmas movies. Oh, okay. Okay. So, first question. In Elf, what kind of company does Walter work at? It is an accounting firm. Um, lawyer firm? <laughs> no, it was a publishing company. In A Christmas Story, what state does A Christmas Story Michigan. take place? I have no idea. It was in New York. In Lampoon's A Christmas Vacation, oh, this one, I just saw it. what animal destroys the Christmas tree? That's a dog. Squirrel. Yes, it was a squirrel. It was a squirrel. In the movie Elf, what is the elf's name? This is Will Ferrell, right? Yes. Oh, what's his name? Um, what's his start with? Tommy. It starts with a B. Oh, like, it's not Brian. Uh, not Billy. <laughs> oh. Not Benji. Got B, B. Buddy. There's our winner. Let's go. Yeah.
Afternoon detention will begin at 310 today. This is the last chance to get those detentions served before finals. Any student interested in participating in the Kansas Society of Professional Engineers model bridge building competition next semester needs to see Coach Hetzel by the end of this week to enter. Today's saint of the day is St. Olympias. Today, St. Olympias was a Harris and supporter of the follower of St. John Christostone. She lived during a turbulent time for the church in Constantinople. Aquinas will be participating in the annual Kansas City Shakespeare competition again this year, and we need participants. We'll first host a school competition, then send our school's winner to the Kansas City competition. The winner there will get cash, cash money. money and the opportunity to compete in the National Shakespeare competition in New York this summer. If you are interested in competing in the school competition, please email Mrs. Spillman for details. The lost and found items are still on the stage in the Commons. Please stop by and collect the items you may have lost at school this semester. Saints, finals begin tomorrow. The schedule is Friday. First period's final begins at 8 and goes till 9.30. Then a 10-minute passing and, a, and seconds finals go from 9.40 to 11.10. Monday, fourth period from 8 to 9.30. Fifth period from 9.40 to 11.10 and then a half-hour break for lunch. The Saints Cafe will be open Monday only with a limited menu. And then sixth period final from 11.40 to 1.10. And finally... Tuesday, 7th period starts at 8, 8th period starts at 9.40, and Christmas break begins at 11.10. Now it's time for the fun fact of the day. Did you know that Rudolph's red nose is probably the result of a parasitic infection of his respiratory system? Oh, I did, I did not know that, but I didn't think I wanted to know that. Anyways, thanks for watching the last Midday Show 2020. We've had a lot of fun this year, and we'll be back in 2021. 2021. And good luck to everyone on their finals. I'm Claire. And I'm Elizabeth. Saying Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, Saints. Don't forget, we'll find a way to make today jolly.